Hello everybody. As a part of a learning series of vulnerability response, today we'll have a look into the out of the box integration of ServiceNow vulnerability response with NVD that is the National Vulnerability Database which is a consolidated database of vulnerability definitions. As a part of the out of the box integration, you need to enable a plugin uh, which is vulnerability response integration with NVD. Once this plugin is installed, you'll be able to see the integration options with NVD. So as you write integrations under the application of vulnerability response under the menu of integrations, you'll be able to see three options. CWE Comprehensive 2000 Integration, NIST National Vulnerability Database Integration API, which brings in the CVE as well as the CPE data, NIST National Vulnerability Database Integration API, which brings in the CVE data only. Out of the box, the CWE Comprehensive 2000 integration is enabled on demand and NIST National Vulnerability Database Integration API CVE only is enabled uh, to run daily at 7.34 a.m. So if we look at this particular uh, integration, CWE Comprehensive 2000 integration, as I said, it runs on demand and it brings in the data of common weakness enumeration that is the full form of CWE into the ServiceNow vulnerability libraries. In addition to that, the vulnerability definitions, the CVE part is brought in by this particular integration which runs at 7.34 a.m. on a daily basis. So both these integrations can be run on an ad hoc basis, uh, in uh, basically an on-demand. So whenever it is required, you can simply come into these integrations and execute these integrations. If required, they can be scheduled multiple times a day depending upon the business requirements of bringing in updated vulnerability definition data. Once these integrations run, the vulnerability definition data is stored in the libraries, in, uh, basically in the corresponding libraries. The NVD data is stored in the NVD library and the common weakness en enumeration CWE data is stored in the CWE library. So let's go into the CWE library to see what kind of data is stored here. So if we come into the CWE library, we'll be able to see all details about this particular CWE ID which, you cho which I chose just now. Or what is the name of those of that CWE ID? What is the summary? What are external references? What is the current status? When was it last updated? And the URL for more details on that. In addition to that, if we navigate to the NVD library, in the NVD library we see that through this integration, a lot of vulnerability data has been brought into the system. So this particular vulnerability definition data tells you the C CVSS 3.0 score, the CVSS 2.0 score, the summary of this vulnerability. Uh, if there is any CW entry corresponding to this, uh, it would also mark that particular CW entry which you can access from here when it was published, when it was last modified, um, what are the vulnerability references. So in case it is integrated with tools like Shodan Exploit, you will be also able to see if there are any exploits for this, what are the weaknesses, uh, what software is affected by this particular vulnerability and in case any configuration item is affected by this particular vulnerability, it would also show up as vulnerable items in this corresponding definition record. So if there are configuration items affected by this vulnerability depending upon the risk score and several other parameters of these vulnerable items, the system would auto calculate and roll up the risk score into as a risk score of this vulnerability definition and a risk rating for this vulnerability definition. The roll up will be detailed in the upcoming videos. So that's how ServiceNow out of the box integrates the national vulnerability database vulnerability definition data with the ServiceNow vulnerability response application. Thank you very much and have a great day.